The space race of the 1960s between the former Soviet Union and the United States was about power, bragging rights. Which nation was technologically superior? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Today, the space race is, well, maybe a brisk walk. And the three major spacefaring nations, the United States, China, and Russia, appear at this point headed in different directions. So, where are the big three going? Since the shuttle Atlantis landed back at the Kennedy Space Center five years ago, the U.S. has not had the capability to put humans in space. You heard me right. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff. The U.S. relies on the Russians at a cost of $65 million a seat to carry its astronauts to and from the International Space Station. That could change by 2018 when private companies, Boeing and SpaceX, should have vehicles ready to ferry astronauts. With these station missions turned over to the private companies, NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, is now concentrating on building a massive new rocket and a spacecraft, Orion, to carry astronauts first to an asteroid rendezvous and then Mars in the 2030s. Some U.S. partners would like to see a moon mission as a stepping stone to Mars, but NASA rarely uses the moon and Mars in the same sentence. China, on the other hand, seems destined and determined to send humans to the moon. Methodically and in measured steps, China is building toward a permanent presence in space. The Tiangong-2 space lab with improved living quarters and life support will be home to two Chinese astronauts conducting experiments for at least 30 days. A mission to put a lander on the moon's dark side is in the works for 2018, and a permanent space station could be in orbit by the early 2020s. All are precursors to landing its astronauts on the moon. Russia would like to go to the moon, too, but the country's struggling economy has forced a tightening of the space budget. Plans for a powerful new moon rocket are delayed, but the Russians are still eyeing a 2030 lunar landing. A morale boost could also come this week. A joint Russia-European Space Agency probe is scheduled to deploy a rover to the Martian surface. Russia's last successful planetary probe was in 1984. One unanswered question is whether Russia and the United States will go their separate ways if the International Space Station's mission ends as planned in 2024. Or will they continue to play in the same sandbox? What happens in the future with the big three space powers will likely come down to politics, as it usually does. Outside of cooperation in space, the U.S.-Russia relationship is strained, and that may well spill over into space relations. China was never a part of the space station family of nations, and the U.S. Congress forbids NASA from cooperating with China. So China has been going it alone quite nicely. But nobody is getting along very well. You know, it's very possible that the middle of uh, the next decade comes around and that all three, the big three, will all be going in different directions.